Welcome to the Eduonics PHP and MySQL project course. This is good. This is an intro for projects one to five, and I just wanted to go over uh, the things that we'll be doing, the projects, as well as the technology and concepts that we'll be working with. So, what should you know? Uh, these things are, of course, it's valuable if you already know them, but you don't need to know, uh, you don't need to be advanced in every single one. Um, but first of all, you have HTML and CSS, and I'm guessing if you're watching a course on PHP that you already know HTML and CSS. All right, um, most of the user interfaces that we'll be building uh, use a framework such as Bootstrap, uh, which makes it a little easier and takes a lot of time off of um, just developing the interface. PHP basics, you definitely should know. Things like how to structure a document with uh, PHP tags, uh, echoing va values, variables, if statements and other conditionals, loops and arrays. All right, so you should be fluent in those things. I'm not saying that if you're not that you couldn't take this course but uh, it would be much, much easier if you knew uh, those things pretty much in and out. Um, Object-oriented programming. So it's not mandatory that you know a whole lot about object-oriented programming. In fact, some of the courses don't use it at all, but it is um, a, very, a very good um, pattern to use. Uh, I don't know if pattern is the right word, but um, it just really uses encapsula encapsulation and uh, makes it much easier if there's going to be more than one person uh, working on the application. So I would really suggest uh, just getting into it and maybe read some other tutorials and videos and um, just to get caught up. MySQL databases, all right, so we'll be working with strictly MySQL for projects one through five. Um, you should have a little experience uh, either with MySQL or another relational database, maybe Postgres or something like that, um, because they very similar in um, functionality. So technology concepts that we'll be looking at, all right, so basic procedural PHP, um, the first few projects are quite simple and use procedural coding. Um, Object-oriented programming, of course, using libraries and classes, uh, things like that. We'll be working on a few custom applications that um, use object-oriented programming, and we'll also be using frameworks like CodeIgniter, which at their core are object-oriented. Um, to deal with the database, we'll be using the MySQLi API as well as PDO, uh, which is PHP Data Objects. Um, PDO is, is really up and coming and a lot of developers are using it. It's really secure, it's, it's easy to use, it protects you from um, SQL injections, things like that. Uh, we'll be looking at different design patterns. Uh, MVC is probably the most advanced one we'll be using, Model View Controller. Uh, basically a controller, um, basically someone would type in an, a, a URL and that would be mapped to a controller through a route and then the controller can grab data from the model which, de which deals with the database and also a controller will load the view to display it to the user. So essentially that's how MVC works. Um, we'll also be using some custom structure, I guess, if you want to call it, um, as well. All right, and we'll be looking at both custom PHP and frameworks, such as CodeIgniter. Uh, I think frameworks are an important thing to learn when you're learning PHP. Uh, they can make things much, much easier and save you a lot of time on different uh, aspects of your application. All right, so projects one through five. The first project will be extremely easy. It'll be a shout box. So basically just a form with a text area and a name input 
and you can put in your name, write a message, click send, and it will show up in the shout box. All right, so we'll be using MySQLi um, API for this, and basically we'll just be doing MySQL selects um, and inserts. There won't be any update functions, and I don't believe there'll be any deletions either. So it'll just be um, selecting and inserting. Very simple. Uh, the next one will go up a little in terms of how easy it is. Um, PHP Quizzer. So it's going to be a, a very simple quiz engine, uh, multiple choice questions, and it's going to get the questions and the answers from the database. But we're also going to have an ad page that we can go to in the browser and um, add questions and answers right there in the browser. Um, now this wouldn't be a produ production app because we don't have user registrations or logins or anything like that. So, um, well I guess it could be a production app if you manually set a password to the ad page, um, maybe through your HT access file or something like that. Um, PHP Lovers Blog is going to be a blog on PHP and it's actually going to have its own admin area uh, where you can add categories, you can add posts, you can update posts, delete posts, things like that. Uh, we'll be using a bootstrap template for that. Um, Talking Space Forum is uh, even more advanced. We'll have a full user registration and login system. Um, and users can post topics, they can reply to topics, things like that. Uh, and then finally we have the Gaming Play Store which is going to be a, a Code Igniter application and it's going to be a simple shopping cart um, of a store that sells video games in different categories for different consoles. Um, and ultimately we'll be linking PayPal, uh, PayPal Express Checkout to it so that we can actually add project products to our cart and then click the checkout and PayPal will read each individual product product not just the total of all products so that'll allow the the seller to actually log into PayPal and manage the orders and see um, who ordered what things like that all right, so that's going to be it for our first five projects, and I hope you enjoy, and I look forward to it. Thanks.